Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world away. And I thought I'd give you a catch up of where we are with the Golden Armor ET Phone Home 1 spaceship build. Had quite a busy week this week. I was looking at what Phil's I get up to doing his Yay Monster ones over on Spruverse, and I was getting a little bit worried that I'm actually falling behind. Now, if you remember, in the last video I showed you, we uh, showed you the revolving rig that we had done uh, with the spaceship. Well, look. This is what's left of it. It went wrong. It actually went bang. Uh, but the good news is I managed to fix it myself. What I did is I completely scrapped this idea and uh, I built it from scratch with an Arduino. Uh, and that is what this is here. And uh, at the end of it, I'll show you this uh, running, but I've got a video of here uh, just showing you what that looks like but i've placed it in the ship where it goes but i'll explain that more at the end but this week i've been working on the engine that goes right at the very bottom of the spaceship and uh the problem i've got at the moment is uh, deliveries are quite slow coming in so i'm still waiting for some ts21 tamiya gold spray paint uh, but i have primed up the engine anyway but uh watch this and this will show you what i intended to do and where i'm up to at the moment so you know the hardest thing to think about where we're going to start on this uh, I've decided I'm going to start right at the very bottom of the ship and we've got this main engine which basically goes underneath this section here it actually just goes in this section here now I've done a bit of work on it already uh, using my Archimedes drill here I've basically drilled out all of the holes around here 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 because we're going to be putting red LEDs in there You'll also notice I've done an exact center hole there, which is gonna be housing a five mil LED. Obviously that's not big enough at the moment. Uh, that will basically, all of the nano LEDs are gonna be coming into the center here with the LED putting up through the bottom. And I've already centered it onto this main unit here. So we've got a hole in there. All I did was basically line this up to where I want it. And then used my Archimedes drill here just to go all the way through the whole section there so basically i know that this is going to be centered up when i put it on there now i've already checked that the wires here aren't going to pinch on this lip here in fact they just go right on the inside there so the whole lot of wires that we've got from this will be into this section here so all i really need is a tiny hole just for the leds to pass through into this section here so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be wiring this up as i said with little nano leds this one's actually white but i have ordered some red ones and as you see the holes that i put in here are only god they're just shy of a millimeter they're uh uh god i can't remember what i think i used 0 0.8 mil drill bit but uh when we put them in i put one in here as you can see they're going to go in here they're very tiny at the end if i just hold that led up against my nail there you can see how tiny this actually is uh, and this is just going to sit lovely in there like that. And that's going to give an absolutely perfect red light. Now I've ordered nine of those. And as I said, when they go in, I will pin them down on this side. And then they'll go into the main body of the ship, just like that. Now, all of these uh, nano LEDs here are going to need resistors on them. Uh, I think it's a 50 ohm resistor I've got to use on these. Uh, but I will check that when it comes to doing the electrics. Uh, but that's the first part I'm doing once. I've decided where everything's going and we've got it all set up for the LED lights. I'm going to paint it, prime it, paint it, and then uh, we'll put the wires in. Now, with carding colors, I'm actually going to be painting this the same color that I painted the C3PO. Uh, it's going to be a chrome gold. But when I put a primer on here, which is going to be a gray primer, you'll find that that chrome gold goes on rather flat. If I was to put it on a, a gloss primer then it would be nice and uh, glimmery and nice and shiny but with a gray primer it's going to be flat which is exactly what I want now the gold that I use on this I'm going to be mirroring on the rings here I was going to paint them silver I've changed my mind I'm going to paint them gold uh, because there's going to be a lot of silver on this ship and I want to break it up with the gold from this engine bay and the engine that we've got down below here so uh, what we'll do is I'll make sure the wires work and then we'll get this painted and I'll show you what this looks like all painted. It is worth mentioning, that I've just got to make some holes in the sides here, here, here and here for some blue LEDs. They're going to be going in as well. Uh, those holes will probably go all the way through into this centre section as well. Now a couple more details that will go on with the blue lights at the side here. We've got these lenses which are sent to us. So once I put the blue LED in here and the blue LED looking just like that i'm using a round one it's actually going to be um seated quite deep in there so really you're only going to see 
the top section of that and then this lens will go over the top because the lens is blue could have probably used a white led but i want to keep this whole thing blue anyway and this blue led is going to pulsate uh, but let me just take that out because there is another section that they need to put in which is this section here for the engines at the bottom now we're going to be having a pink light coming out the bottom of the engine here and this is meant to go on the top there and i don't know if it mirrors the pink lights or we have white lights in here one of the pictures you can see some uh, engine lights from the bottom of the ship uh is never seen again in the film so uh i don't think i'm going to use this i think i'm going to create my own diffuser here just have one pink light in there so this whole section here will look pink this will all look red and then these around the side will look blue one thing i do want to do with these lenses they're absolutely brilliant but they're far too clear i want them to be a smoked effect now this stuff that i've got here is a cross between plastic and paper uh, but it's brilliant at diffusing light so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick all of these uh, to that with micro crystal clear and then i'll scalpel around them and then that will be a nice filtered lens to go into the side of that engine so there you go there's an example of what one of the blue leds look like in here with the blue lens uh, it won't be flashing like that it's going to be more of a pulsating effect and this is just an example of the small nano leds that i'm going to have around the rim here so here's the light test obviously i've uh, still to paint this but i have primed it but uh all of those lights the little tiny ones around the side are obviously going to be red so i've still got them to put in but i can't really do that until the uh, uh i have painted this the gold color i'm doing but as you can see we've got a nice pink at the bottom there and we've got the pulsating side lights here looking like that so when that's down it's gonna look like that when it's beating and i absolutely love how that looks and this is all the electrics completed in this section now, but this is the pre-painted. So obviously uh, I need to give this a couple of coats of the gold paint. That should stop the light bleed uh, that you can see through the side there. But we've got the purple at the bottom, the red around the outside and the pulsating blue light. I am aware this looks washed out, but in real life it doesn't look like that. It's just the way it's coming out on the video camera. But uh, I am so happy with how this has turned out. It's taken me almost a week just to do that. So I'm just waiting for the paint now so there we go all i've got to do now is paint it i've just got to put some masking over this uh lights obviously and i haven't put the lenses in yet for the uh the blue lenses there but you've got the blue pulsating at the side we've got the red underneath and we've got pink underneath the very bottom which i said is going to have a filter on it but uh i enjoyed doing that today that's taken me all morning <laughs> So this is what the cassette looks like when it's done and all of this is just uh, plug and play like you just saw with that. So it uh, doesn't matter what way round I put it on, it's going to probably go round that way because it's going to be clockwise at the bottom and clockwise at the top. But that's just uh, a cartridge now. So all that's going to do, that is going to sit into here just like that. And it's already at the right height. I've double checked that. So uh, very good. But we've done... Uh, We've done a lot. We've done a lot in the first week. Uh, as I said, in the next week, we're going to be uh, starting to drill some of the holes out into this unit here. Let me just show you here. We're going to be um, putting the legs on and we're also going to be uh, drilling out this door hole here. What we're going to be doing with that, we're going to be uh, putting some modeling clay, uh, which goes hard, uh, dr it dries hard, uh, to make some sort of like enclosure here so I can just put an LED in there. And once again, I'll filter that from the front so you've got the round sort of circle that et stands in uh, as you can see from this picture here uh, but that's what i've got planned for this week but uh, i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care